Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure SRSD, Cisco Unified Survivable Remote Site Telephony. When Cisco Unified IP phones lose contact with primary, secondary, and tertiary Cisco Unified CM, they must establish a connection to a local Cisco Unified SRSC router to sustain the call processing capability necessary to place and receive calls. The Cisco Unified IP phone retains the IP address of the local Cisco Unified SRSC router as a default router in the network configuration area of the settings menu. The settings menu supports a maximum of five default router entries. However, Cisco Unified CM accommodates a maximum of three entries. When a secondary Cisco Unified CM is not available on the network, the local Cisco Unified SRSD router's IP address is retained as a standby connection for Cisco Unified CM during normal operation. On Cisco website, you can find SRSD datasheet. This is a centralized model. All the servers, CUCM servers, are in headquarters and a small branch office and medium sized branch office connect to headquarters with IP WANs. Now, for a small branch office, IP WAN goes down. In this situation, during failure, Cisco Unified SRSD router provides call processing for IP phones. It means this router should configure as a SRSD router. After IPVAN goes down, for call to PSDN, we should configure die peers for incoming and outgoing calls to PSDN or for call to headquarters. And IP phones in headquarters can call to small branch office with call forward unregistered feature. I will show you how to configure call forward unregistered. In my scenario, I'm going to shut down the CUCM and I will show you the IP phones register with SRSD router. Let's get started. First, we should create SRSD reference. System, SRSD. There is no SRSD right now. Add new. For name, SRSD on R1. Port 2000, IP address, it's our router's IP address. For SIP network IP address, 1.100 and save. Now we have to go on system, device pool, this is lab scenario and I'm using a default device pool, so click on default. We should go on SRSD reference. Now it's disabled. We have to change it to SRSD on R1, a router, and save. Now, if my IP phones lose their connectivity with CUCM server, they can use up SRSD because I assigned this device pool to IP phones. Now we have to go on device, phone. We have two IP phones that they already register with CUCM publisher. One of them is SIP device protocol and the other one is 
SCCP or SCANN. Now we have to go on our router and configure SRST. My router is a SIP gateway, but if you use a MGCP gateway, after this configuration that I'm going to show you, you need to configure MGCP fallback, then configure call routing for incoming and outgoing calls. You can see my configuration in Router 1 as a SIP gateway. If you use a MGCP gateway, you need configuration in your router. But I already configured my router as a SIP gateway, so I don't need to type it again. Now I should type control traffic and media traffic command. Fast Ethernet 00 is my voice interface. Register our server command allows to SIP IP phones to register with SRST. Now we have to type register our command with IPv4 of our router interface. This is our router IP address. Now we have to configure max DN and max pool for SRC router. These max DN and max pool are for SIP IP phones. Now we have to configure register pool and our codec.
This configuration was for SIP IP phones. We need to configure for SCCP IP phones too. This ID network with this mask is for SIP IP phones subnet. Now we set up SRSD for SCCP IP phones. If you configure MGCP gateway, you need to configure MGCP fallback right now, then configure call routing for incoming and outgoing calls. After configuration SRSD on the router, I'm going to shut down the CCM server. Before shutdown, I want to show you device phone. Both of our IP phones are registered with publisher server. Now you can see the phone has registered and in IP phones screen you can see CM fallback service operating. It means the phone registered with SRSD. If you go on setting, device configuration, unified CM2 SRSD active. CM1 is our publisher server that I already shut it down. As I mentioned before, you need die pairs for incoming and outgoing calls. So if you need, you can watch my previous video about even configuration and die pairs. The last thing that I'd like to show you is about call forward unregistered. If the connectivity between headquarters and a small branch office on IP van goes down, the headquarters IP phone can't call to small branch office IP phones. In this situation, we need to configure call forward unregistered on headquarters IP phone and they can call to small branch office via PSDN. I already turned CUCM on so we can go on server, device, phone, and you can see the list of IP phones. Like IP phones in headquarters office, uh, you can go on your IP phone, in their line, small branch office IP phones now registered on SRSD. So they are unregistered in headquarters CUCM servers. Then we go on forward unregistered internal and external. You can put the number of small branch office here to reach small branch office via PSTN. Then calling search space is long distance and save.
I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you for watching and good luck.